Hey, Denon High School. This is the third podcast in stoichiometry. It's the empirical formula from a combustion reaction. And we're going to get right to the action. Here is the 2005 AP exam question. And if you can take a look, we have a 0.7549 gram sample of a compound. And that compound is carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And it burns an oxygen gas to produce a certain amount of mass of carbon dioxide and a certain amount of mass of water. And you can see the first thing they asked us for is individual masses of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, which we then want to turn into moles because we want to find our ratio of moles. We want to find our formula. Now, if we take a look, in every one of these problems, you can take a look in that we know how many grams of carbon dioxide we have. We have 1.9061 grams of carbon dioxide. Now, we know that we can find from our molar proportion video, we know we can find just the carbon in there. And so if I take a look, that would give me my grams of just carbon. If I multiply by the ratio, 12.011, that's the grams per mole of carbon, part divided by whole, that gives me my grams, 0 0.5202 grams of carbon. Now, take a look. I'm going to keep the significant digits. You take a look. Everything in here has four significant digits. So I want to round to four significant digits. That gives me my grams of carbon. Now, guys, I don't want to find my grams of oxygen from carbon dioxide. Because there's oxygen coming from everywhere. There's oxygen in the water, oxygen in carbon dioxide, oxygen in the oxygen gas, oxygen in my sample. Oxygen is everywhere. So I want to go to the water. The 0 .3370 grams of water. And what do I want to find in the water? I want to find the hydrogen. The hydrogen is 2.0158 grams per mole divided by 18.0158 grams per mole. That's part, the hydrogen over the whole, the water. Sa same like I did the carbon over the carbon dioxide. Okay, That's going to give me my part of just hydrogen, 0 0.03771 grams of hydrogen. Now guys, if you want to do these different from proportions, or, or our, our percentages here, no problem. You can do them any way that you see fit. Now how do we find the oxygen? Well, if we know we have 0.754 nine grams that contains carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, what can we do? We can subtract the car grams of carbon. We can subtract the grams of hydrogen. And rather than writing this down, you understand what's left over is oxygen. We have 0 0.1970 grams of oxygen. And that gave us our letter, our letter I. Now, in order to find the empirical formula, we have to find our ratio of moles. So we have to divide by our molar mass. We've got to divide by 12.011 grams per mole. We've got to divide by uh, 1.0079 grams per mole of hydrogen. We've got to divide by 16.00 grams per mole of oxygen. And when we do this for each one of these things, we're going to get our mole, individual moles. We're going to end up getting 0.0433. 31 moles of carbon. We're going to get um, point, I don't know what we're going to get. We're going to get point zero three seven four one moles of hydrogen. Took a little while to take a look at my paper. And we're going to get point zero one two three one moles of oxygen. Can you see the ratio of moles? I can't, okay? Um, it's very difficult to see the ratio of moles here. Sometimes it jumps out at you. You're like, ah, oh, that's a one to two ratio. But here, dude, I can't see it. So what do I have to do is divide by the smallest one. So I'm going to divide by the 0 0.01231. Divide by 0 0.01231. Divide by 0 0.01231, which is nice. This gives me one oxygen, okay? When I divide this, it gives me exactly three hydrogens. That's really nice. When the, it gives me 3.5 carbons, though. Okay. Now it, I can't round that up to four. I can't round it down to 3.5. I got it. Sorry, three. I got to keep it at 3.5. So what do I need to do to everything to put it in the whole numbers? I got to multiply everything by two. Okay. So how many carbons am I going to get? Seven carbons. How many hydrogen am I going to end up with? Six hydrogens. How many oxygens am I going to end up with? Two oxygens. 
and there's my empirical formula, my simplest whole number ratio. It's still the same ratio, 3.5 to 3 to 1, but it's in a whole number, 7 to 6 to 2. And that's how you would do one of these combustion problems, okay? Now, how do you find the true formula? What's the formula for that success? Um, how do you find that true formula? Well, if you want to try find a true formula, you got to take that true molar mass and divide it by the empirical formula's molar mass, and that's going to give you a multiplier. Okay? If your true molar mass is the same as your empirical formula's molar mass, guess what? You don't have to multiply by anything. The multiplier is one. Okay? If the multiplier is two, you take all your moles, all your atoms, and multiply everything by two. Guys, that's uh, 1.3 empirical formula from a combustion reaction. Make sure you go to MissRadin.com, go to AP Chemistry, and do that homework assignment using Google Docs. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you later.